we have to give them the ability and every opportunity that we can to make sure they succeed. So a couple things that I think we absolutely have to look at. What should we have for funds? Well, I'm going to tell you right up. I'm, I'm not a big fan of uh, our income tax. I'm not a big fan of our capital gains. And I'm not certain that our levy swaps are going to solve our problem. Should we look at it? Absolutely. I think we should consider every single option that's on the table. But I think what we really need to do is take a look at reforming what we have and start there. Thank you. So, no, we have not met our obligation yet. There has been some good work since 2011 to fund all day kindergarten, to do some increased funding for materials and supplies, to reduce class sizes at K-3. It's progression. And um, there are some folks here in the room who started out with uh, me and PTA as we were advocating to redefine and fully fund basic education. And we got the definition through the Washington Learn Study. And we got a prototypical schools model that shows how the funding gets pushed out to each school according to uh, the prototypical needs. But we haven't taken that last step. So yes, this is the year to do it. We're in contempt of court. So this is where the rubber hits the road here, folks. And we need to take a look at a lot of different options. So one that was mentioned is capture some of the natural growth in our economy as it continues to roar back. Uh, another thing to take a look at is um, capital gains tax. I think that is a tool that we can use. I think that reforming our B&O tax so that it is more fair. Um, but among these, all the different options on the table, we need to make sure that we are not um, paralyzing families and uh, working folks and that we are finding sustainable sources to amply fund according to our Constitution. 